Hi, my name is Naj Hussain. I'm CEO of Aperture Software. I'm here to show you a very, very cool new backup and disaster recovery solution for Windows workloads. So uh, architecturally, I'm going to just jump right in. So what we offer, uh, the, the way our solution works is we have agents that sit on the uh, Windows workload. So we support SQL, Exchange, SharePoint, any Windows workload, including virtual, so Hyper-V and, and uh, VMware ESX. Now we have a lightweight agents that, that sit on that, on that uh, server. We also have a concept of a replay server, which is really any Windows 2003 box on the network. And the idea is that we actually take um, volume-based, uh, block-based uh, images of the machine very efficiently and quickly and store them on the replay server. So the, guy, the idea is that we can take these very highly transactional systems and protect them very, very efficiently. And this approach really does eliminate the backup window. So once we have the, the, um, the images here, they're compressed and deduped, really crunch them up to save you time and money. Uh, then from that, we actually can check for, the, uh, for corruption within the, uh, uh, the image as well. So the beauty of that is we actually built in backup testing. So that kind of eliminates failed recoveries. Uh, we also can take these things and spin them off to virtual environments, which I'll show you in a quick minute in a demo. And the beauty of that really is I can now protect my physical or virtual workloads with a, with a virtual machine. And we actually create it and maintain it for you on the fly. So a couple of uniques that I'm going to go through in the demo real quick. Uh, Off-host processing, uh, basically we eliminate the backup window because we're actually every 15 minutes or whatever time you define, we're just tracking volume level block changes and shipping them to a replay server where we compress them, dedupe them, and check them for corruption. So in essence, the, the backup window is eliminated. Corruption detection, huge feature, and that's, this gives you, this is all about application assurance and the idea of being able to validate that the backups are, are good. Uh, virtualized disaster recovery and testing is a huge uh, capability here, and the idea is that when we create these VMs for you dynamically, uh, you can use them for standby purposes and for testing. So it's very cool. If you want to install a patch or something, you can just spin off a VM, test the patch before you put it in production and taking that risk. Uh, replay Live, it, it helps with the RTO, and this is the uh, concept of being able to take these block level changes and rewinding them back to a failed server, to a failed storage group, or to a failed database very quickly and easily. So let me hop into the demo for you. So what you see here now is a uh, the console. This is an MMC console running on the replay server. This can run anywhere on your network, actually. It doesn't have to be on this replay server. I've now installed the agents on a, a SQL server, an exchange server. Uh, the agents do require a reboot. So at this point, um, uh, you see the console. I see the, the repository volumes on my server. We have complete alerting and eventing built into the product. Uh, to to add a server is very straightforward. The interface is pretty easy to use here. I just add in a name. I tell, tell it where you want me to store the recovery points. We support any kind of DAS on the back end. So it can be iSCSI, SAN, uh, low-cost IDE even. It's your choice. And uh, we'll store the recovery points there, compress them, and dedupe them. We have some cool options within this uh, the, for Exchange and SQL. So we actually perform the mountability checks every 15 minutes to ensure that the, the recovery point has uh, valid data in it. We also truncate your logs for you as well. SQL, the same thing. We actually um, perform a, a check every, every 15 minutes as well where we, mount, we actually mount the, the, um, the SQL database as the recovery point is created to test to make sure that it's uh, valid. The retention policy is a, a capability uh, to determine how long you want to keep your recovery points for. So you can say, I want to keep a month's worth of recovery points. So the fact that we dedupe and compress uh, you know, means that you can keep more for less. So you really do save a lot of money on, your storage, on the storage side. So uh, in this case, I have a month's worth of um, uh, uh, um, images that I'm storing. I can change this to a day, a week, a year, two years, whatever your business requirements are. So I'm done here. I click Add. Uh, we go out and we, we uh, scan the machine. So you can see here in the SQL Server case, I uh, scan the volumes on that machine. Uh, we do a quick uh, base image is where it starts. We typically get between 3 and 4 gig a minute on the uptake when we, when we do the initial base. So it's, it's lightning fast. And then we compress it and dedupe it on the replay server to give you that efficiency and completely offload the, the backup processing from the uh, production server. So now that I have had this, uh, what we do is we go out and create recovery points over time. So you can walk away. You're basically done. So every 15 minutes, you're going to get a recovery point of the entire server. So it's a, basically a virtual representation of that machine. So it's everything on the volume. It's the C drive, it's the application, and the data, hence application assurance. So we've, we've captured it. 
we've, um, we've validated it, and then these recovery points are available for your use. So these things can be used for a lot of uh, for recoveries. And I'll show you a quick, quick step here. I can take this. I can actually restore a failed server in minutes. So if I, my, ser my SQL server blows up for any reason, I can actually do a bare metal if I need to. So I can go to similar hardware. I can go to dissimilar hardware. Additionally, I can restore individual components of a server. So I can restore volumes if I lose a system disk or if I lose a, a, a controller, for example, or I have a bad disk. I can typically just rewind a, a disk very quickly and easily. Um, I can restore individual uh, messages. I can restore individual databases, et cetera, right from this interface. Um, additionally, on the um, hot standby capability, it's, it's just a quick configuration here. So the idea on physical and virtual, I can take these recovery points now that have been uh, deduped, compressed, and validated against corruption, and I can spin them off into a VM. So when you set this up, you can just literally turn this on. Uh, you can say, okay, update it every 20 minutes. I can say create Create a VM at this location. It could be on a NAS box somewhere. Um, we'll spin off the VMs for you, and we'll keep them updated every 15 minutes. So every time we create a recovery point, we're going to update the change blocks within the VM. So in essence, it's a hot standby of your production workload. You can also send these to, uh, to ESX as well. So if I want to change, uh, if I want to dump these directly to a, a VMFS file system, I can do that very quickly and easily. We also have physical standby capability, so you can, you can create physical standbys as well if, if that's a requirement for you. Um, and you can also export the recovery points. It's like a checkout feature. So the idea is I can export them to uh, a remote location, uh, to a, ID, a you know, USB drive, et cetera, and I can use that for longer-term storage. I can even export them and take them to tape if you'd like. Some other uh, capabilities uh, just in the product, we have built-in alerting. So if there's any, any issue, you know how that could go. If you have, you're doing a backup and, and something uh, doesn't perform properly, uh, you can just go here. You'll get an alert. If your EDB checks fail or if you have a corruption in a SQL database that doesn't attach, for example, you'll know immediately that that happened. So that's all built in as well. So that's the, um, the quick demo um, of the product. And uh, thank you. <laughs>